speaking by generational curses, just you know, in 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 general, what I what I've observed about it and other people is, it's it's a combination of not only genetic traits, but also epigenetic traits. So epi epigenetics is how your DNA is turned on or off, like how your genes are expressed mm -hmm. at certain times more than others, right? So, and those patterns are, it's an, it's an extra layer of information that is beyond just genetics. So, and that can also be handed down from parent to child. So, so through the generations, your things that you experience, the things that you think, the, the traumatic experiences that you go through, they imprint themselves epigenetically in your body and that can be passed on. And the issue with that, however, is when you have a lot of alien experiences or you're dealing with ghosts or, or the paranormal, those experiences, they also uh, induce reactions in you that imp imprint themselves epigenetically. So if you, if generations earlier, you know, some, um, some, some great, great, great grandparent had interactions with other worldly beings, some of that gets imprinted in the genetics and that didn't also gets handed down and it can lead to psychic abilities. If that's what it turned on, it can lead to, um, for example, victim mentality. So if someone has had a, a line of demonic harassment going back many generations. And this sort of thing creates a feedback loop where negative paranormal beings can attach themselves to a bloodline and get passed down also from, you know, through the generations. And even uh, uh, very often times, if generations live in the same house, there will be a paranormal entity or more entities that set up base in that house. And then over the generations, they will um, continue harassing the next generation and the next generation and just feed off it and create almost like this, this sick codependent uh, symbiotic relationship with the human hosts. So that, that, you know, that entire thing, some people just say, Oh, that's just ancestral karma. But if you really break it down, like what is karma really? Well, it's, it's a combination of, of genetic stuff. It's a combination of paranormal entities that follow bloodlines around. Um, and, and it's also like, like a soul lineage thing. Cause the thing is, uh, when you're born into a family, a lot of those souls in the family you've known before. That's the reason why you're together again. Okay. And, and so you have like past history with them. And so these patterns that built up in the past, they end up repeating again. Uh, and so, so it's this big complicated web of feedback loops and interactions spanning the physical to the biological to the paranormal. And those things all come together in shaping this thing that we call ancestral karma or ancestral curses.